ดานิชสีเลือกวันนี้เลขสวยเลยนะ21จุลาย2021อาจารย์ปนอตเป็นคนเลือกอ๋ออาจารย์ปนอตเป็นคนเลือกเลขสวยมากเลยจริงแล้วอาจารย์อาจารย์สุริพงศ์เป็นคนเลือกใช่ไหมคะว่าจริงเหรอทุกวันให้อาจารย์อาจารย์เลือกวันนี้อ๋อโอเคใช่ยิ่งสวยใช่ค่ะอาจารย์มีแอปพลิเคชันดีมมาไปเรียนในโรงเรียนแต่ว่าเรื่องประสบการณ์จำเป็นที่จะสำเร็จในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ดีสุดในโรงเรียนที่ The learning outcomes of our curriculum are as follows: the hand of medical profession. Jula Longgon medical graduates are trained to provide logical diagnosis, select appropriate investigation, give rational patient care, perform procedures, and communicate professionally. The hand of medical profession. Our school teaches students to understand holistic approach, medical ethics, and professional laws. Critical thinking and basic and clinical science knowledge. The heart of medical profession. Our students are taught to be a responsible member of the society, to develop themselves personally and professionally, and to be an effective team player and have great leadership attributes. Our medical school is unique. At Jalalongkorn Medical School, our relentless pursuit of excellence has always brought us to the national frontier of medical education. These include. MESRAP or the Medical Education for Students in Rural Areas Project, New Track, the Graduate Entry Program, and the first outcome-based curriculum. Our education are integrated and student-centered. We always encourage our students to engage in their learning. Our student-selected components are also considered to have the highest number of credits in Thailand. Everything for you at MDCU. Advanced digital technology is utilized at its base to enhance students' learning experience and learning environment in smart classroom, medical library, and Jilalongkorn Healthcare Advanced Multi-Profession Simulation Center. Each year, more than a hundred of extracurricular activities are initiated and organized by our medical students. We also support students' participation in research project presentation at international conferences and studying electives abroad. Our continuous hard work in educational development has resulted in Jilalongkorn Medical School being the first and the only medical school in Thailand to receive Aspire to Excellence Award in Student Engagement. This award would guarantee that students are very important and always at the heart of our medical school. Striving to create the best learning experience, we believe our effort would allow students to be a part of future medical community, reaching their maximum potential based on their own interests and talents. We are looking forward to being a part of your journey at Faculty of Medicine, Jilalongkorn University. Hello and welcome everyone to CU Medi Open House 2021. This year's event is entirely online due to the COVID-19 pandemic. My name is Seri Yampongsa, a plastic surgeon and an instructor at this international program. During this program, we will introduce international medical program at Faculty of Medicine Jilalongkorn University or CU Medi. We are a unique and alternative pathway to become a global doctor fits for 21st century. During this session, you will know the overview of the program and our readiness to bring you through your journey to become a cutting-edge doctor from our fac senior faculty and world-renowned international faculties. For those of you who are interested in the program, the application process will begin on 31st January to 23rd February 2022. You can check for the update via our website on, my, on the screen. If you have any question during this program, you can either type your question in the chat or scan the QR code to get a Google form to enter your email and your question. We may not have enough time to go through all of your questions today, but we will try to answer as many as we can during the session. 
Without further delay, it's my honor to introduce our guests of the session. I would like to start with Professor Dr. Sutipong Wacharasin, the Dean of Faculty of Medicine, Chulalongkorn University. He is a prominent pediatric endocrinologist. He dedicates himself to advanced medical education in this country, and he has made every effort to push this program forward. He will introduce us to the vision and rationale behind this international medical program. Thank you, Ajahn Seri. Uh, you can see my slide, right? Okay. So welcome everyone to the Open House CTU Medi 2021. Uh, as a Dean of Faculty, Faculty of Medicine, Chulalongkorn University, I probably spend about five minutes to tell you roughly about our program. First of all, I'd like to tell you about why we have developed this graduate entry international program. I would say that this is the first uh, international graduate entry program in Thailand. Uh, firstly, our strategy of our Faculty of Medicine, Jalalukon University, to become the global university. And I would like our country to be the Asian Medical Education Hub in this region. Secondly, we have a lot of collaboration. Uh, between well-known universities around the world. MDCU has a lot of opportunity to lead and go internationally, such as we have a good reputation, we have the good staff, and also a lot of connection and collaboration. You probably accept that English is very important and is a good tool for education, including study in medicine. Also, lifelong learning is one key factor that uh, we uh, would like the graduate, I mean, the, anyone who finished the primary degree or bachelor degree in any field can change their career to become a doctor. And also the diversity of your bachelor degree, it could be one of the value added for the international MD program. And lastly, the location of the campus. And we have uh, one part of our campus located in the EEC area. EEC is come from uh, Eastern Economic Corridor. And you probably know the government that this going to be the area, look like the, the main hub or main gate uh, for uh, foreigners to come uh, to these regions. So we want to push up uh, the uh, CU Medi or CU uh, International Medical Program to be uh, one of the programs that create the physicians for the new era with the international curriculum, with the four main keywords of our program, including internationalization, globalization, innovation, and lifelong learning. Uh, this shows you the Jilalongkorn Medical School. It consists of Jilalongkorn University and hospital. Jilalongkorn University located in the center part of Bangkok, and is the first university of Thailand uh, Bought more than 100 years. And we have two main hospitals uh, under our Jurongon Medical School. The first one is the King Jurongon Memory Hospital, it's in Bangkok uh, by the Jurongon University. And this is a secondary to tertiary care uh, hospital. The second one is a Queen Swan Watna Memory Hospital located in the EEC area. And if you drive from Central Bangkok, it takes you about one and a half hours driving from Bangkok to uh, Queen Swapakana Memory Hospital. If you come to join this program, probably half of your program, you have to spend the time at the Queen Swapakana Memory Hospital. Uh, this uh, PowerPoint show you uh, the activities uh, uh, in uh, campus uh, at the Jolongkorn University and the Jolongkorn Memory Hospital. And this show you the photo of uh, Queen Swapakana Memory Hospital, you probably see that the main medical care services and also the education center is by the, by the sea. And you have to put your during your study here. Uh, you probably see that uh, the lecture room and the simulation centers uh, is also by the sea. So what we want you when you get it from this program, beyond, we want you to become the smart doctor with the mindset of innovation, global concern, and not be talented. Uh, I would like you to be the leadership in medicine, and also you can work worldwide uh, with the internationally recognized. So how to reach that goal? We need to start the process with the international program 
and we have to provide you a lot of international uh, collaboration. And also we use the adult, adult learning process in this program. We provide you the enrichment period, about six months. That means you can export yourself what you want to uh, I mean, get into either clinical or research. And we also provide an early clinical education. That means the first day that you step into this program, you probably have the early clinical uh, exposure. And this program, it should be a flexible one. And we allow students uh, to be engaged in the uh, curriculum development. So any program that you get it from your bachelor degree, science, engineer, dentistry, or other related degree, welcome to join the new many. It's the new era for the learning of medicine. And when you get it from this program, you need to be the professional MD. You can work locally and globally, and we need to focus. Uh, I mean, grab you to be study physicians or academic physicians or the biomedical engineering. Or lastly, you probably would like to be the teacher in the medical schools. So I hope to see you all at the Faculty of Medicine, Philadelphia University. Thank you very much, Club Ajahn Sutipong, for a wonderful introduction of our program. Next, I would like to show short video clips about the overview of CU Medi, and followed by tips and tricks from our inauguration class, which will start in August 2021. We have three students who will share their experience, their tips during their, the uh, preparation for the application, their inspiration, and then their feeling after being accepted to our program. The CU Medi program presented a second chance for those of us who wish to redirect our career path and enter into the medical field. I find it inspirational that the Faculty of Medicine at Jhulalongkorn University opened up this program and offered an opportunity for any student from any educational background to be able to apply. Becoming a part of the CU Medi program for me has been exciting, especially this year because this is going to be the first year ever. I also feel proud and feel warm to get to become a part of a larger community at the Jhulalongkorn University. Last but not least, I feel immensely thankful for just how kind and approachable the professors have been, the staff have been, and how supportive my classmates have been. So thank you very much, guys, truly. Kapu Kap. Hi. I'm thankful and truly really excited to be offered this amazing opportunity to be part of CU Medi, the program's forward-thinking vision to produce a 21st century multi-talented doctor and a leader of positive change at the global level truly aligns with my own values and goals. 
I also appreciate the program's focus on leadership for change, training students to be leaders who can meaningfully impact our healthcare systems. I'm also very excited to study an integrated curriculum where students will receive early clinical exposure alongside theoretical scientific knowledge in an interactive learning environment and to receive personalized individual mentoring. I believe this cutting edge program will prepare graduates to be leaders at the forefront of the medical field wherever they choose to practice. What sparked my interest for CU Medi most was how this program focuses on preparing their students to become multidisciplinary physicians with global medical knowledge and also leadership skills. I plunged myself into the research of medicine and started studying for the MCAT six months prior taking the test, which was a revolutionary um, transformation from a business graduate to a science amateur. I am beyond grateful to be accepted as a CU Medic class of 2025, and I'm very impressed by the international mindset that the students in this program have, as this allows unconventional discussions of why within moral frameworks for me to become as competitive as my international counterparts on a global healthcare stage. Thank you very much for the insights from our current students. As you may notice that they all come from different bachelor degree background, background. I would be very interested to know how ready are we to guide them to their medical goal. Next, we will hear the detail of the program, inclu including the curriculum and many more from our very key persons of the program. Please welcome Professor Dr. Nitasi Shana Rongsuwanwela, a neurologist and the director of the International Medical Program and the Assistant Dean for Academy Affairs, Faculty of Medicine, Chulalongkorn University, and Associate Professor Dr. Ruang Sak, Red Kajon Sak, an obstetrician, gynecologist, and the Deputy Director of Queen Sawang Watana Memorial Hospital, where our students will gain their clinical experience. Moreover, our students will also have their international clerkship to broaden their view of the global healthcare system during their extern year. As a result, I would like to take this opportunity to also invite Associate Professor Dr. Narusha Tirakan Wasan, a pulmonologist and the Assistant Dean for Foreign Affairs, to join this session to give you all more detail of the exciting privilege. First, Professor Nitasi will tell us the outline of the entire curriculum and its pre-clerkship period. Thank you very much, Ajahn Serika. Thank you very much. And I'm very excited to see all of you here today. And uh, yeah, you expressed your interest in CU Medi. So today, three of us in this session will try to answer these three fundamental questions for you. The first one is very simple, what is CU Medi? And next, we will try to explain to you what kind of candidates we are looking for. And lastly, which I think is very important, is why CU Medi would be the correct choice for you. So let's start by the, from the first one, what is CU Medi? Our Dean has already mentioned that CU Medi is the first international graduate entry uh, medical program in Thailand. Another uniqueness of this program is that it requires only four years of study time instead of the traditional six years. And this program is offered by Chulalongkorn University Faculty of Medicine. And uh, this is our Faculty med of Medicine. And in fact, our Faculty of Medicine offers three types of M MD programs. The first one is the standard or the regular program where we accept students who graduated from their high schools. And the second one is our CU Medi program, which is a new program we just started. And we're gonna have our class of 2025 coming within the next 10 days. We are very excited to have them with us and the class is gonna start yeah, in, in August. And the third one is called MD dual de degree program. So coming back to the CEO Medi program, as mentioned earlier that the main goal of our program is to produce professional doctor. And if you decide to join us in our program during the next four years, 
we will try to shape you to become a professional doctor who can work locally or globally and be a 21st century doctor with the skills and most talented. And also we would try our best to bring out your talent and leadership quality. And this is actually clearly stated in our learning outcomes, which uh, actually these are the three essential outcomes in our program. Uh, there are actually the first one is the hand that the hands that heal, the heart. I'm sorry, the hands that heal, the head that is smart, and the heart that cares. So for this uh, three outcomes, we would like our students to achieve them. As our curriculum is designed as an outcome-based curriculum, meaning that we started from the end or the goals in mind, and then we work our ways towards the goal. So uh, these are the outcomes and the hand that heals actually means that you need to have doctor's task. Uh, doctors should have good clinical uh, tasks with the correct diagnosis, uh, choose the right uh, and invest investigation and management and, and also have skills in procedures. Also the head that is smart and the heart that cares refers to professionalism. After you finish our program, you will become a global doctor and you will have global responsibilities. You'll be multi-talented and equipped with a 21st century skill. And we hope that you can be the leader of change. And lastly, uh, it's very important that we have the heart that cares. Because as doctors, we're not going to, going to only treat the patients. We are going to treat the whole, the whole system as well. So with the knowledge that you acquire uh, the basic and clinical knowledge uh, in science, you should be able to apply them with critical th thinking process and uh, with under the patient-centered holistic approach and medical ethics. So we are here to help you to pre prepare yourself to become a clinical and professional doctors reaching your clinical and professional goals. So what about after the program? What's, what's the career path? for our students. This is a picture of uh, Jamjuri tree, which is a symbol of our university. So CU Medi can be the foundation of the tree and then you can choose to become any kind of doctor you want to be. So with the advantage of multidisciplinary backgrounds and class diversity and our curriculum, we'll try to create doctors with high level of medical and non-medical talents. And our students can choose the career path according to their preference. So some of you may want to be a specialist and that would require another three to seven years of residency training. And we will definitely prepare you for that. Some of you may want to be a basic scientist, maybe a physician engineers or nutritionist or influencer or anything or any something else. And we will try to help you with that. It's actually most important that our program will provide you with the opportunities for you to have exposure to a wide variety of options in Thailand and also abroad outside Thailand through our collaborators and mentors. So at the end, at the end, you will be able to select a career path of your own. And certainly you will not going to be doing just one thing. You will be multi-talented. So that is coming to the, our second question. Who are we looking for? So we are looking for graduate students of any fields. So you'll be coming from any kind of bachelor's degree uh, of any fields. We don't have any age criteria, but you should be highly proficient in English and MCAT score is also required. On top of that, we are looking for students who are passionate in medicine and who are totally committed to medical profession and they should have quality of adult learner. So my last question is about why, and this is gonna be a very important question. Why are you, is CUB Medi is gonna be, be, be the correct choice for you? And the curriculum of our CU Medi is already approved by the Chulalongkorn University, University Council and the Medical Council of Thailand. And uh, it is divided into three phases, the pre-clerkship, clerkship, and the externship phase. For the pre-clerkship phase, which is kind of a preparatory phase, we uh, will have clinical-oriented 
basic knowledge to prepare you to go to the next phase. So I'll elaborate more on that pre-clerkship phase. For the clerkship phase, actually, it starts after one and a half years of the clerkship phase. And this is gonna be more kind of uh, experience in the real setting. You have clinical rotations into different uh, wards and fields, and that will enhance the kind of experience on real patient with our students. And the last part is the last phase is the externship phase. And in this phase, you will also work with patients, but will be actually part of the team, the care team with other doctors, nurses, and other healthcare personnel. And during this phase, we'll have what we call uh, enrichment period, which consists of two parts. The first part is the international clinical experience where you are required to go abroad for two months to have clinical experience abroad. And another four months of uh, uh, student selected components. So for this one, you can freely choose to enhance your uh, preferred clinical research or innovation skills abroad or in Thailand. So this is the, what the curriculum map looks like. So the first one and a half years is gonna be the pre clerkship phase over here. So for the pre clerkship phase, it's gonna take place at the main campus at the Faculty of Medicine, Jolalongorn University, which is at the same area uh, as King Jolalongorn Memorial Hospital. So the pre clerkship phase, will, we will uh, have the learning experience divided into modules according to the organ system starting from introduction and then uh, go on with musculoskeletal system, hematology, cardiovascular, GI, and so on. And as I said, it's the learning place is gonna be at Faculty of Medicine, Jolalongorn University, and also King Jolalongorn Memorial Hospital. And this is the Pumisiri Mankalanusan building, which is a 29 story high building uh, of King Jolalongorn Memorial Hospital. And in this building, it's located on uh, many excellent centers and also inpatient boards. And I'm very excited to see that we are gonna have our new international village coming up next year. And in this area, we'll have uh, only English speaking people coming in and we'll have exchange of cultural and uh, maybe some kind of activities like talks or food fair. So I hope you can join us in this international village. Coming back to the curriculum, for the pre clerkship phase, it, the learning experience can be more kind of integration of basic and clinical knowledge. So we'll start from patient case problems and work back into anatomy, physiology, pathology, and others. So you'll be uh, working in small groups and uh, we have a lot of learning, interactive learning environment. And also we like to ensure that you have early clinical exposure. Actually, we'll start on day one. Our introduction, introductory course, we'll start in the afternoon with patient encountering. So we'll be able to talk to patients in the real uh, kind of an stimulated setting. And also we will provide you with the experience of leadership, teamwork and communication skills. We will also have the clinical experience classes where you will be learning in the real setting at the outpatient, inpatient ward, emergency room and operating theater since COVID-19 is hitting us real bad. So this year we are trying to do that, but it's gonna be uh, virtually. And you'll be witnessing witness uh, the cutting edge and uh, state of the art technologies at King Jolal Grand Memorial Hospital. We will also have clinical skill classes where you can do hands-on experience in simulated and standardized patients. So we'll do history taking physical exam, do uh, some kind of lab test and CPR as well. And this is our CHAMPS center where we have mannequins and 3D models for you to practice. Another important part is humanistic medicine. As you know, human touch cannot be replaced by any machines or AIs. So expressing empathy is important to build patient trust, calm anxiety, and also improve health outcomes. So humanistic medicine is very important and we integrate this part into our curriculum th throughout the course. I'd like to also emphasize on the last one, which is a special project in bio biomedical research. And this one, uh, this program is uh, the 
program that we would like to try to bring out your individual talent to have creative think thinking or innovation or any research that you want to do. So you can choose to do basic research, translational research, or clinical research, or any kind of innovation. Of course, we'll have mentors in Thailand and abroad to help you go through with this research program and innovations. So that's about our pre clerkship phase. I think, uh, yeah, if you pass this phase, you'll be ready to go on to the next phase, which is the clerkship phase. So I'll give the back, mic back to Ajahn Seri and he, he will probably ask Ajahn Rungsak to tell you more about the clerkship phase. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Club Ajahn Nitasi, for a clear overview of our curriculum, especially the pre-clerkship period. Students will then move to Queen Sawang Watana Memorial Hospital to do their clinical rotation. Ajahn Rungsak, can you please guide us through the clinical overview of the clerkship? Thank you and good afternoon. Uh, the clinical clerkship will take place in Queen Sawang Watana Memorial Hospital. Queen Sawang Watana Memorial Hospital is located in Sirachai District in Chonburi Province. As Dean already said, uh, it's very convenient to transport uh, from Bangkok to uh, Queen Sawang Watana Memorial Hospital approximately one hour drive from Suwanakum Airport. And we are working seamlessly with King Chulalongkorn Memorial Hospital under the Thai Red Cross Society for the mission of the international medical uh, curriculum. I would like to point out some uh, specific area that uh, students will spend most of their time uh, in this hospital. Uh, the first, the 150th anniversary of Her Majesty Queen Sisawintra Medical Center. Students will practice their uh, clinical clerkship here in this building. With more than 1 million uh, patients, our patients a year, uh, we think we have more than enough uh, learning resources for our medical students to gain their uh, clinical experience. This 26 uh, story high building will operate uh, in the end of this year. And uh, the outpatient and inpatient will uh, located in the same building. So we have the comprehensive uh, patient's care in one area and also uh, the, the area for medical students for learning. And the next building I would like to uh, uh, inform is the medical education center, this, this small. The uh, medical education center located in bridge front area, which very close to uh, the uh, clinical wards within walking distance. Medical education center provide excellent learning resources. For example, we have online library which connect to the uh, MDCU library. So we have the resource as the same as uh, the in, in, in the main campus. And uh, also the medical simulation center. Students will expose to many educational strategies like the small group learning, self-directed learning and uh, simulated learning here in, in this uh, medical education center. The next area I would like to, to inform is the uh, residential area, which is very close to a clinical ward to ensure uh, the opportunity for uh, clinical learning. Students will get fully equipped uh, dormitory uh, high standard security system. The convenience store is located at the ground floor of this dormitory, so very uh, convenient uh, for a student to spend their life here. And also the uh, like a uh, recreation area nearby the, the the building. So we provide a recreation area to in encourage uh, extracurricular activities. Students can maintain their work-life balance here. Next, I would like to uh, provide some information about the uh, uh, clerkship phase. Clinical clerkship is in the second phase of uh, this learning curriculum, which will last for a year. During this phase, students will gain their learning experiences from major clinical wards. 
and also the integrate discipline rotation. As Janice C mentioned, the clerkship phase starting from the second trimester of the second year here. And uh, they, after they finish the clerkship phase, they will move to the extension. Medical students will do their rotation every four to six weeks in the major ward, like uh, uh, in internal medicine, surgery and orthopedics, obstetrics and gynecology and pediatrics. Furthermore, we also arrange uh, the learning in clinical setting. For example, the uh, emergency, emergency medicine, we are learning in the emergency room. For ambulatory medicine and family medicine, we have the outpatient-based learning setting. The longitudinal course like a humanistic medicine uh, will be integrated learning every Friday to apply case-based learning with humanized medicine subjects. But some of integrate clinical rotation like the critical care, chronic care, and psychiatry will be, take place in King Chalolongkorn Memorial Hospital. In the last one and a half year, students will spend their externship in clinical rotation in Queen Sawang Watana Memorial Hospital as well. But apart from the clinical experiences, students will gain their rotation uh, with the telemed enrichment period by choosing international experiences abroad with our MOU sign institute and uh, other selective period for totally six months. The detail of the content will be presented by the next speaker, Professor Narucha. Thank you, and we are very welcome to join us. Thank you very much, Club Atan Reung Sak, for a clear and inspired overview of our clinical experience as well as a nice facility at Siracha. After the clerkship rotations, like Ajahn Rung success, students will enter their extern year. During this extern year, students will have their opportunity to do clinical clerkship abroad. Ajahn Narusha will be able to give us more detail with this international collaboration that we have. Ajahn Narusha, please. Thank you very much, Ajahn Siri. So, Faculty of Medicine, Chulalongkorn University, has collaboration with many institutions all around the world. In fact, we have 50 active MOU with many institutions in different continents, including Asia, North America, and Europe. We also encourage our students to do international rotation in order to broaden their knowledge in global health. These are some of the examples of our students doing international rotation. Yonsei University in South Korea, University College London in UK, Jutendo University in Japan, and Wild Canal Medical College in US. This is the Yomadi curriculum and international rotation will be implemented during the fourth year. So during the fourth year, the students will have eight weeks of mandatory clinical rotation, which will be done at international institution. And they can also select to have another 16 weeks for student selected components or SSC which can also be conducted internationally. So combination of the two will add up to 24 weeks for international rotation. So these are our international partners. We have University of South Florida in US, University of Glasgow in UK, University of Leeds in UK, and University of Liverpool in UK. And these are our international advisory board. We have Professor Charles Prober from Stanford University, and he helps us with curriculum development and faculty development. Professor Dikashi Lee from UCSF, he helps us with professionalism. Professor Kathy Levinson from Florida State University, she helps us with integration of basic science and clinical science into the clerkship curriculum. 
Professor Leticia Cavinaro from Stanford University. She helps us with innovation in experiential learning. Professor David Alkin from UCSF, he helps us with humanist part of the curriculum. And we also have Associate Professor Tanagon Jirase Vichinda from Wild Canal Medical College. He helps us with faculty development. So we believe with our strong background in internationalization, which is implemented into CEO Medi, has strengthened our program to meet or potentially exceed international standards. So please come and join us. Thank you so much, Club Ajahn Narisha, for exciting information. Next, I would like to introduce Associate Professor Dr. Ganapha Gonsawat. She has more detail of the international rotation for you. She's joining us live from the University of Texas Health Sciences Center. Everybody, please welcome Ajahn Ganapha, please. Everyone, and thank you, Ajahn Seri, for the introduction. I'm honored to be invited to the CU Medi Virtual Open House today. A little bit of background. The University of Texas Health San Antonio has been collaborating with the Chula Longhorn Medical School since 2019. Our medical school annually educates more than 900 students and trains 800 residents in all specialties. Through the student exchange program, we have sent our students to Chula Long Corn and we're able to welcome medical students from Bangkok to complete their clinical rotation electives here. The students had a chance to rotate through pediatric subspecialties, general internal medicine and transplant medicine wards. They were also involved in scholarly activities. For example, one student published a case report which was presented at a national conference. Also, one of the students who rotated with us recently matched into the SUNY Downstate Pediatric Residency Program in New York. I hope to continue this special relationship and I'm looking forward to collaborating with the CU Medi program. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Swadika. Thank you very much, Club Ajahn Kanapha. Next, we have a video clip from Professor Dr. Tarura Sombunwit. She will take care of our students that during their externship in Florida. Sawadika. My name is Charat Sumbunwit. I am a professor in Division of Infectious Diseases and International Medicine at University of South Florida, Wasani College of Medicine. And I would like to welcome you to our program. USF College of Medicine, we have USF Medicine International Program that lead all the collaborations within USF Health and other partner institutions across the globe. Our institution located in Tampa, Florida, which is on the middle part of the west coast of Florida in the southeastern United States. Our main campus and um, the main teaching hospital actually are about 13 miles uh, from each other. However, we we work um, at all the sites. USF Health itself also had its presence at the main campus. And these are the buildings that you can see. Our university is one of the fastest rising university. Actually in 2021, it was the, it was ranked as the fastest rising university in America. This is based on U.S. News College ranking. In the past two years, it's ranked among the top 50 public universities in the U.S. Our student body actually is pretty large. We are, we enroll about 50,000 plus students per year. And in research funding, we have over 500 million in 2019. In USF Health itself, there are five schools, including College of Medicine, Nursing, Public Health, Pharmacy, and Physical Therapy. Mosani College of Medicine, we, we have the mission that we would like to be excellence in lifelong goal of learning and research and compassionate patient care. 
our Dean, Dr. Shelley Lockwood, has been instrumental and supportive of international programs. Dr. John Sinod, he is currently is the chair of the Department of International Medicine. He is the founder and lead uh, in terms of international collaboration. Currently, Dr. Lynette Meneses, who is assistant dean of international, she administer she administer the collaboration and make sure that all the student and all the program got linked. With her strong program, she coordinate the international efforts among our students and faculty, which currently at USF Health, we have over 900 faculties among physicians and PhDs and um, over 30 specialties. Our main teaching hospital is at Tampa General Hospital. We locate on Davis Island in downtown of Tampa. It's really nice and beautiful. It is uh, the hospital site is about 1,100 bed, and we are level one trauma center. We we are the designated burn center for this part of Florida. We also one of the top 10 transplant institution in terms of the volume. We perform solid organ transplantation uh, for heart, liver, lung, kidney, and pancreas. It is, we have really a very robust program here. The mission of USF Medicine International is to enhance global health through research, education, clinical training, through international partners. Our goal within area of education, research, and clinical care is to inspire trainees to learn about global medicine, to foster international research, and also develop global clinical skills. We believe that learning together really help us to grow even faster. That's why we are there. Many of these places that our student went did not have much of the resources as much as the US and going internationally really helped them to develop clinical skill and have critical thinking to utilize the resources within the settings. We also have global presence through research, such as of the Li Wang Shui. He's one of the world lead malaria researcher, actually had a lot of presence in Southeast Asia. He had his lab at the um, Tropical Medicine Hospital here in Bangkok. And at all time, he will have at least one postdoc in his lab that came from Thailand. We also have student organizations that go to a lot of countries in this slide here. You can see that have present in Dominican Republic, Nicaragua, Haiti, and Bolivia. In this slide, you can see that we have our present and collaboration over 30 countries. And in Thailand, we have nine institutions, including Chulalongkorn University, which we are very excited to have a stronger collaboration through student faculty and re research exchange our model of student studying ab 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 abroad is across the discipline with collaboration and in UC, as you see in here. Our model of go global effort through USF Medicine in International is to, we work through education for capacity building. We develop academic programs we enhance in research and also with services with good patient care. How do we collaborate? We collaborate through student and resident exchange. In this case, we provide clinical electives for final year of medical students. And with this program, we really hope that we will see you in Tampa during your clerkship and elective during your last year of your medical school here. We would like to develop a sustainable collaboration by designated faculty member from USF and partner institution. Currently, I myself serve as country coordinator for Thailand and also other two faculty member at USF who has to along God as their alma mater, Dr. Shakapon and Panida Siarun. They will also be on site to assist with this effort. And also Dr. Monvasi Parchin Buravan, who is currently active faculty member at Chulalongkorn in Bangkok. She also hold her faculty appointment at USF. We also have 
student exchange and faculty exchange through lectures and grand round. During the pandemic, because of we have limitation to travel, USF Medicine International had developed global health conversation, conversation program, which our Shulongan faculty of medicine dean had graciously be, uh, was a speaker of how Thailand respond to COVID and it has been very well re received program. We also have linked international websites to link all our collaborators together through education platform. We also have training in, in clinical research. We have robust program in infection diseases, especially in malaria and toxoplasma. We have research in other areas such as neuroscience, genomics, in vitro IVF and cardiovascular services, and this is involved genomic aspect as well. We really look forward to seeing you, and I would like to say thank you. Thank you so much, Club Ajahn Charurat, for a nice overview of uh, University of South Florida and a warm greeting from the Sunshine State. I'm sure our students will be very excited to visit Tampa. Now it's time to go through all the questions we got. During this session, I would like to start by inviting Dr. Waranatha Vacharatit and Dr. Shanida Siri Prabharat to join us during this session. And for sure, Janitjasi will stay with us during the pro this program. Dr. Waranatha is a general surgeon who specializes in minimally invasive procedure. And Dr. Shanida is a board certified psychiatrist. There are also clinical instructors at CU Medi program like me. Dr. Waranatha will start by giving us the overview of the application process. Okay, so thank you for your interest in this program. Um, you know, so I'm just going to take you briefly through the nuts and bolts of the admission requirements and the admission process. So for the academic year 2022, um, you know, we do require first a bachelor's degree in any field. It doesn't have to be in the sciences. So you must either currently hold a bachelor's degree or have an expected graduation date on or before July 31st, 2022. The second thing we require is a proof of English proficiency. And this can be done a variety of ways. Either you take the TOEFL or the IELTS with the following minimum requirements, 85 on the TOEFL internet-based based test as a minimum, or an overall score of seven or more on the IELTS. Now, the things to take into consideration are if you are currently in an international bachelor's degree program in Thailand, and you have already taken these tests in order to be admitted for this degree program, you can use the previous test results that you got if you have graduated within the past two years, counting from the application deadline. Okay, this is only if you are in an international program in Thailand. Now, the other way to have this requirement waived is if you are a citizen of the following countries, Australia, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, the UK or the US, and also in addition to being a citizen of these countries have earned bachelor's degree taught in English in the above mentioned countries. The other requirements are as follows. The MCAT test, and we'll talk more about this in a second. Uh, this is valid for only two years, again, counting from the deadline of the application. There are no minimum cutoffs, meaning that we have no minimum requirement per se but we do not allow any substitutions. You cannot take any test it, you know, to, that will take the place of this test. It has to be the MCAT. We require a curriculum vitae, a statement of purpose, two letters of recommendation that are sent directly to the faculty and your official bachelor's degree diploma and the, the transcripts. There are no minimum GPA cutoffs. So the MCAT, if you're not familiar with it, is a test administered by the Association of American Medical Colleges or the AAMC. Um, you, know, you can find more details on the application process and how to register for the test on this website. The admissions timeline are as follows. So keep in mind some of the important dates. The application starts being accepted on the 31st of January until the deadline of the 23rd of February, 2022. We will release a list of eligible applicants 
uh, on the website, who will then pass on to the second stage on March 9th, 2022. Applicants who are selected for interviews will be notified on the 21st of March, 2022. We will then proceed to interviewing these uh, applicants in the first two weeks of April. We will then um, offer admissions and notifications to waitlisted applicants on the 25th of April. Applicants then will either have to confirm or decline the offer of admissions within the time period of the 25th to the 29th of April. So you have this window in which to decide whether or not you're going to matriculate here. We will then make a formal announcement of the class of 2026 by the 23rd of May, 2022. The rest are, you know, things that will follow like health checkup, contract signing. You know, we will pr proceed then with orientation and registration of new students in late May to June. Uh, then we'll hold our foundations of medicine course, which is a preparatory course with the reviews of basic um, biochemistry and other um, pre-med requisites, you know, between June and July, 2022. The first semester will start in August. Um, you know, some of the important things to consider, although there are no minimum requirements for the MCAT scores, we do use your actual score for ranking uh, to determine who is and who is not eligible for an interview. Okay, so that is important to consider. Um, for the successful applicants who pass the interview stage, um, you know, we will then determine um, who to send offers of admissions to based on a variety of factors. So it's not just based on your MCAT test scores anymore, but it will take into consideration your entire portfolio, including your interview and your psychological assessment, your statement of purpose, your CV, your letters of recommendation, and your diploma and transcripts. Finally, uh, an important uh, thing to consider as well is that if you um, sign on to matriculate and enroll in our program, um, you know, successful applicants are required to sign a unilateral contract with the Royal Thai government or the Julayongan University to work for the government agencies or for the university for three years after graduation in accordance with the rules of the Medical Council of Thailand. Further details on this and the rest of the slides will be on the website. Thank you for your interest. Okay, thank you, Dr. Waranatha, for, uh, for a very clear overview of our, our application. Now it's very exciting time. I have looked through all the questions I got on my iPad. It's super interesting, and we would like to go through all of, as many of these as possible. Give us some time to get everyone ready on screen with me. All right, look like we're ready. The first question, as this program allows everyone and not focusing on the program of bachelor degree we graduated, if someone graduated art, which is not related to science or medical at all, is it possible to study this program? And the second question that I think may be related is, I'm not good at biology or science. Will I be able to study this program? But I'm very interested in this field. Atanita C, can you please help us? Yeah, thank you. This is yeah the question that we get asked all the time. And as, as mentioned earlier, that we accept bachelor's degrees graduates from any field uh, as long as you meet our admission requirements and you need to take MCAT for sure. And then before the first semester starts, there will be a two month foundations of medicine course that is actually designed to cover the fundamental concepts of basic science, which will be needed during the medical years. So yeah, if you, you are not in the biology, uh, but you get through the MCAT and then pass through our program, we will ensure that you will be going on with our program. And we have many things to support you through that. And in this class of 2025, there are many of, of our students who are not graduated in biology. So don't have to worry about that. Great. So the next question is, uh, will MCAT score be ranked? And is MCAT score the most important factor of being accepted or at least being considered for interview? If not, what is the most important factor? 
Okay, great. Thank you for your question. So, you know, there's two parts to this question. The MCAT score will be ranked in order to determine your eligibility for an interview. Once you've passed the interview, though, right, and you're trying to get admitted or accepted to the program, we look at your portfolio as a whole. So the MCAT is only a factor in all the things we look at. So we look at your letters of recommendation, your CV, um, you know, your transcript, and how you did on the interview as well. Now, uh, it's a life after being accepted. We are a graduate student who is an adult learner. Do we have to comply to any dress code or we can wear whatever we like? Yes, um, thank you. Um, yes, thank you, Dr. Seri. Um, yes, you guys, um, our CU Medi student gonna be adult learner. So even though we don't require student uniform, we do have dress code, as you got, um, as you will be seeing patients um, with early clinical integration. So we encourage our student to uh, dress professionally. Our uh, dress code can be described as casual business attire. Um, we also will provide our student with white coat to wear during the patient encounter. So. Um, even though we don't require student uniform, it might be required on very special ceremony. Thank you. What is the special ceremony that you're talking about, like a formal event? Yes, um, like formal events, um, such as um, the freshman welcoming ceremony, when the, fr the freshmen from all the department will gather to pay homage to our founders, um, King, uh, the fifth and king to six. Um, so that would be one example. Okay. Now, uh, the question is, does this program is equal to bachelor degree, six years doctor degree in Thailand of knowledge and modules? Yeah, right. Thank you for the question. Yeah, asking about the four year program, actually, it's actually it's a six year program, but we don't uh, we only teach you for four years so the first two years are, has already taught or already learned by during your bachelor's degree and i'm very certain that after finishing this program yeah our graduates will be professional doctors and reach our desirable outcomes uh, there are main, main, main many reasons behind that this curriculum was approved by the university council and the thai medical council so there the curriculum went through different process to make sure that it is, it is possible to do that. And although this graduate entry four-year program is a, new, is a new program in Thailand, but it is a standard curriculum in many countries, including the US. And we have been working uh, closely with our international advisory board members to ensure the quality of the program. So I'm very certain that this four-year program will be equal to the six-year program that we have right now. Thank you, Club. The next most important question is, what are the tuition fee structures and are the expenses that students expected to pay? Yeah, I guess that comes to me again. Yeah, the tuition fee is approximately 5 million baht. And actually, there are some differences between the international uh, students and Thai students. So for international students, the total fee would be 5.4 million baht. And for Thai students, it's going to be 4.8 million baht, roughly. The difference is the, the uh, actually the university fee, which is different between the international and Thai students. So it would be around 600,000 to 670,000 uh, 600, for each semester that you need to pay. You can yeah, get more information on those in the website. Thank you. Uh, we would like to know whether we can get any scholarships through the program. Um, yes, I know there it is this a finance heavy financial burden. Um, unfortunately, at this point, I would say that the scholarship for this program is very limited, and it would cover a very small portion of the tuition and the program fee. Um, scholarship 
exist for successful applicants under very specific criteria, such as uh, academic excellence, or uh, for specific purposes, such as research presentation, a research project, or academic presentation. So, sorry. All right, understand. But how about student loan? Can we get a loan? Um, I'm actually not aware of any student loan um, at this point. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I wish I can give you a better answer. I wish too. <laughs> um, I am start not currently studying my, for my bachelor degree, and I will complete in July 2022. Am, am I okay? Am I eligible to apply to this program? Right. As long as you graduate on or before July 31st, 2022, you are eligible to apply. Okay. Now, um, I'm currently studying at July International Program, and I took my TOEFL test when I first started. Can I be exempted from the English score, even if I'm not coming from English-speaking countries? but I've been using English mm -hmm. for four years. So excellent question. Um, you can use it depending on when you graduated. So if you graduated within the last two years, then you can use it. But if it's been more than two years since you graduated from the international program at July, then um, unfortunately you'll have to retake the test. All right. I come from abroad or from outside Bangkok. I would like to know whether we offer any on-campus housing? Um, during your pre clerkship uh, period, they, we don't offer on-campus housing, although there is um, CU in uh, Chulalongkorn International House, CUI House, that is available for international students. Um, it's only seven minute drive from uh, the Faculty of Medicine campus. Um, and it's also on the bus route, um, the, the university shuttle bus. All so right. that is an option. Um, yeah, but during your clerkship and your externship where you will uh, be spending time at Queen Sawang Watana uh, Hospital, there will be uh, on-campus housing offer, as you have seen in Dr. Uh, Ronsak's um, presentation. Hopefully they have ocean view. Right, at least they're by the oceans. I would love to stay there. At least definitely by the ocean. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. One of my goal to coming to Jula Longkorn is to go to Jula Thammasa traditional football game. Am I be able to join the Thai students? It's my goal for my entire life to become the sheer leader during this, this traditional football game. Can I join them? Is that your goal? <laughs> yeah, the definitely. Goal. Uh, I just <laughs> read the question. Right, yes, definitely. I, I think that's actually, you know, one of the highlight of being students. So, and I, I think our program promote um, our students to participate in our extracurricular activities is possible. So our CU Medi student will be able to join or um, have the same equal right with um, the student from Tuolongon University. And we definitely will promote that. Mm -hmm. Will the student from this program get the opportunity to meet and study with the Thai student on the regular program of the Faculty of Medicine? Um, yes, their division of uh, student affairs and also uh, with the student unions offer a lot of academic and um, extracurricular activities where the CU Medi student will be able to join and have the opportunity to meet and make connection with the student from Thai program. Um, this, the Faculty of Medicine also have uh, promote very heavy student engagement with their learning. Um, so they do have a committee uh, called Student Engagement Committee. Um, 
that CU Medic can send, uh, can have representation in that. Um, they can also represent, um, have a representative to join the medical student union. So there will be plenty of opportunity to interact with the Thai students. Okay, great. So now I'm studying the UK. As you may know, there's so many tests available that equivalent to MCAT like UCAT or BMAT. Is it possible for me to take those kind of tests instead of MCAT? Oh, another excellent question. Unfortunately, at this point, we only accept the MCAT. No substitutions will be accepted. Okay. If I, your program is very interested and I would like to move to your program as a transfer student from other program, is it possible? So again, thank you for your interest. Unfortunately, at this point in time, we do not accept any transfer students. Um, maybe that will change in the future, but at this point, no, sorry. Right. Now, it will be the last question. What is a piece of advice you would give to those plan to attend here, or at least in the process of thinking about applying here? Probably, I would like to invite Ajahn Nijasi to give us the wise advice on what to do. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, it's a very fundamental question. I think first you have to ask yourself if you really want to be a doctor. And more importantly, the question is why? Being a doctor is a great job if you like it. I'm a doctor for all my life and I love it. I love to be a doctor. And, but it's a lifetime commitment. You may have to make sure that you need that. And you should try to experience activities related to medical field to make sure that you really understand how doctor works and what kind of work we are doing. So another thing is that studying medicine is gonna, gonna be difficult and put you under a lot of physical and emotional pressure and stress. So you have to be prepared for that for the next four years. So, but that's not, uh, that's the thing that everybody faced for their medical years. So the second thing would be asking if CU Med is the correct choice for you. So today we have shown you our facilities, our curriculum, and uh, mentioned about the ways that we are teaching and learning. So uh, I also mentioned about our goals. So we're looking for students with talents and uh, who would like to apply the talents in the field of, with the field of medicine. So other qualities. So if this fits you, yeah, you should apply study from MCAT for MCAT is very it's quite difficult for sure and you have to need to study for that and next you need to summarize your past experience into your personal statement to show how your passion in, and interest in pursuing career in medicine and then you prepare for the interview so I think that has a whole process so another advice would be visit our website frequently for more updates we have things updates in our website very frequent so yeah I think that's then you're good to go and we are very welcome to get all of you in our class in 2022 thank you thank you very much club Ajahn Nitasi, Ajahn Chanida and Ajahn Waranatha it's very informative session and thank you everyone for answering all these challenging questions and thank you very much, everyone, for joining us, our open house on Facebook Live. We are looking forward to see all of you during our application. And please remember, our application start on 31st of January and run through 23rd of February, 2022. You can visit our website for any updates the, on, via the QR code on my left-hand side. Thank you very much, and have a great day.